What is going on guys? It's your boy Malik Brown back with another video for Atlanta Sports United. I hope y'all having a good day because I'm having a good day. So let's get straight to it, man. This past week, the Hawks were kind of wishy-washy, man. You know, they beat Philadelphia at home, spanked Philadelphia at home. On Wednesday, of course, we know the game against the Phoenix Suns got postponed. Now on Friday, they played the Utah Jazz. That game was a disaster from beginning to end. I'm talking about from defense to offense. I mean, Trey Young just didn't even have it. 1 for 11. He just didn't have it that game. Now, the next night, they got to redeem themselves against the Portland Trail Blazers, and that game was a con totally different game from the night before. Um, hard fought battle between both teams. The Hawks had the lead for, I think, at least maybe the first three quarters. And then Damian Lillard and the crew just went off and they made more plays than the Hawks. So, you know, like I said, wishy-washy um, week for the Hawks. But um, let me just get straight to the song, man. Y'all know why I'm here. I'm here to dish out a song for you guys. Now, this week, we're going to go a little Neo Soul. You feel what I'm saying? And what better way to do it? Then drop it with my girl Lauren Hill, man. Come on now. Now Lauren Hill dropped the song. And I know everybody knows this song, whether it was from a sample or whatnot. X Factor. X Factor. What a beautiful song, right? I love it. I love it. <laughs> so I know you guys are probably asking, where am I going to go with this song? Hold on just a minute. It could all be so simple. The pain, the pain, the pain. But you rather make it hard. The Atlanta Hawks, they make things so hard, but it could be so simple. It just seems like we don't know what to do with this team. One one night they're they're winning, they're doing good. The next night it just doesn't look the same. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. And I know I said before it's early in the season, but they got to get this thing rolling, man. It, it, the inconsistency, all, all Trae Young slump. I mean, we just need to know what is going on with this team. I want to go back to the song, but I want to go back to the, the song title, X Factor. Now, I know we always hear about, you know, this part, this person's the X Factor. This player's the X Factor. He's going to be the X Factor in this, this, and that. The Atlanta Hawks have an X Factor, guys. And I don't think a lot of people are talking about them. No, I'm not talking about DeAndre Hunter. No, I'm not talking about playing Capella. I'm talking about Kevin Herter. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Herter has been the X factor for the Atlanta Hawks this season. Now, we all know the first two seasons, Kevin Herter was starting alongside Trey Young. And I mean, Herter looked good. He was hitting shots. He's looked like a good backcourt mate for Trey Young. But, of course, you know this offseason, the Hawks went out and got Bogdan Bogdanovich. And that guy can do it all. Three-level scorer, can shoot the three, can get in the paint, can dish it out. He's a ball handler. He can do it all. So, I just feel like the Hawks were probably just ready to speed up the process and just get a guy in there that could just be a great compliment to Trey. Now, with the addition of Bogdanovich, that means that Kevin Herter had to come off the bench. And in my honest opinion, I feel like Kevin Herter has been playing better coming off the bench than he has starting the first two seasons in his career. Now, of course, the averages are down, three-point percentage down, points per game down. But one thing that has improved from Kevin Herter is his two-point percentage. Now, Kevin Herter has a 6'7 body frame, which means he could feast on these little small guards, these small shooting guards that are guarding him and that's exactly what he's been doing this season just check it out here had he not pushed off kevin herter easy does it well that's where kevin herter's height come into play kevin herter can be a solid six man for the hawks i think of course they have more options off the bench now brandon goodwin has been playing well rajon rondo he's been solid running the second unit as well when he's healthy and available but Kevin Herter can give you everything that you need out of the second unit. He gives you scoring. He can shoot the three. He's good. He's been improving in his mid-range shot. Like I showed you, he can get into the heart of the defense. 
This guy can also ball handle, play make. He's a solid six man. Now, I know I wrote an article this previous week and I said that Kevin Herter has the potential to be a six man of the year. I still believe that. With the way the Hawks have been playing though, it's kind of hard to even like kind of judge it right now because they've been really up and down. But once the Hawks start winning games, you're going to realize that Kevin Herter coming off the bench has been a positive for the Hawks. The Hawks have been doing a lot of good things this year. So far, what, through 11, 12 games. But Kevin Herter is the guy that you guys need to start looking out for. Now, that is it for me, guys. If you want to see more Atlanta sports videos, just not Hawks. I'm talking about Falcons, Braves, United, Dream. Go on over to Atlanta Sports Unlimited on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you comment. Like all our videos. And we coming hard all 2021 and beyond, y'all. I'm Malik Brown. Checking out.